Hello, my name is HM2 Bruce Nunes from NMRTC Bethesda. Today I'll be showing you how to navigate your official military personnel file or OMPF. To access the OMPF, you will first go to my.navy.mil and click on the Quick Links tab to access Bupers online. Once you're inside Bupers Online, you're going to locate your official military personnel file or OMPF My Record. Okay, once you're in here, this is going to be the home screen for your official military personnel file. The official military personnel file reflects documents that have been received, reviewed, and accepted as an official record documents. Recently submitted documents may not appear on the record. If a document was sent to NPC within the last 60 days, they may still be processing, so do not resend it. The OMPF instructions, corrections, and updates refer to MILPERS Manual 1070 series or BUPERS Instruction 1070.27 series. The second tab is gonna be your OMPF documents. And here you're going to find all documents pertaining or all documents contained inside your OMPF. This is going to include enlistment contracts, history of assignments, administrative remarks and page 13s. All of your uh, evaluations can be found within here, as well as all of your uh, initial naval documentation, such as um, contracts or MEPS documents, things of that sort. And for an example, I'm going to go ahead and open up a history of assignment for you. You can just double click the, uh, the document you wish to open. And this is how the document's going to be displayed for you. You're going to see all documents watermarked with official record copy. This indicates that the record was pulled directly from your OMPF. Lastly, we're going to go to e-submission documents. So all the documents here in e-submission would be documents that are submitted by your PSD or your personnel office. And this will give you a status of whether it's been accepted, pending, or rejected by a uh, by PERS. So what you're going to get is your form number, your subject title, your date submitted, the status, whether it's accepted, pending, or rejected, and the date that that status was updated. If it was rejected, what reason was it uh, rejected for, and what is the official document date as well as the um, meaning when that document was uh, drafted in the first place. Well, this concludes the walkthrough of the official military personnel file. Thank you and have a fine Navy day.